Welcome to Imperfect Voices Podcast. Podcast, podcast. Unfiltered commentary, hot takes, and professionals at being loud and right. Always. Welcome back to another episode of Imperfect Voices Podcast. podcast for real <laughs> episode 93 let's fucking go we got our girl misha in the building you know what i'm saying 90s baby jordan 93 baby huh 93 you're right no yeah I'm uh, are you yeah yeah you're 93 93 93 babies in the building make some noise we got our girl misha in the building hello my little Ooh. pony my little pony my little pony you know juicy me. jade your only fans, only fan. The of the year. Yurt. We got our boy Jordan back. He back. Gang, he gang, back. gang. We're so glad we missed him. Hot dad know. CEO. I feel like I haven't seen Jordan in months. The 13th man. Devil's favorite advocate. Absolute yes, favorite advocate. Luca's half brother. Cause he balling. <laughs> Let's go. How's it feel to be back in the building? Feels great. Feels great. Back in the guys. stew. Gang, we gang, miss you. Back in the stew. Gang, gang. Back in the stew. Up in the stew. Up in the stay. Up in the stay. And Ooh. from the land of no HEB. <laughs> Steph with the shot. Step with the shot. Zero day sober. Ninety over ninety episodes depoy. <laughs> La reina de toxicas. Melatonin mommy, step in the building. It's lit. It's lit. It's lit. <laughs> It's a dynasty. Over 90 episodes? A dynasty. I know, right? I know. I know, right? And you got your boy Jay here, DJ88, Poppy Smoke, Manny Bag J, Big Suits, Polo Teacher, Polo Jordan. I maybe take these polos off. Period. Let's go. How are we feeling, y'all? Let's feeling go. Great. Yeah. Let's go. I'm feeling cozy as fuck. Cozy? I do feel really warm. Cozy Support boys. your local coffee t- places. Um, being a leader, oh go God. to Starbucks. Y'all, whoa. Get the gold I know. I forgot what the fuck I had on today. I Shit. saw you walk in. Yikes. I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let me throw this. This bitch shit is good though. Out. This is a horchata latte. Mm-hmm. What you call me? Can I taste it? And they make it. They yeah. make their horchata in. In. She house. said horchata. Horse. Shout out to all the girls it's that put the horse in horchata. It's a, it's or a guys. horchata. It's good. I don't like horchata. So yeah. Why'd you? Try you know you don't say. That. I just want to see if it, what it tastes like. Oh. Yeah. I know y'all don't say the H. Horchata. No. Horchata. horchata. Nah, don't even be trying to uh, pronounce nothing Hispanic because she oh, openly yeah. said on Twitter yeah. the other day, I'm not even Mexican. Yeah. I'm not Mexican. I know, but yes, I not identify. <laughs> you know, I came in here with the energy today. Motherfuckers be like, you don't speak Spanish? I'm like, no, bitch. I'm not from Mexico, dumbass. Oh, my God. Damn. She got against Mexican. Not her. It's Native American Heritage Month, okay? Oh, it is. Okay, sorry. Let me, month, let, let's put us some, some respect. Oh. What did I tell Stephanie the other, year, other day? I was like, I ain't got no second gen. I got a tr- the trail of tears. Oh my god! <laughs> Yikes! Yeah. No, though. because okay, someone. Let me. Uh, I didn't tell you them. That's why. So uh, this guy was like asking me. He was well. First of all, what he said was, I can't tell what kind of Mexican you are. And I was like, what is that? Or he said Hispanic, like Latina you are. Oh. And I was like, what does that even mean? Like, am I Mexican? And she, he was like, yeah. He was like, but also like. Um, like, what are you? Like a Mexican Mexican? Are you like I'm I'm Texan? And I was like, Yikes. how embarrassing because I am Texan, Hell bitch. Yeah. Like I don't even know what to explain. Like You're Texan is fuck. I don't know where my like Mexican ancestors were from. Like, you know, people be out here explain. with like like repping Guanajuato and shit. Like yeah. it ain't me, baby. I don't know. Yeah. We there somewhere. But yeah. talking about month anyway, so people. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Is like that where you're from? Yeah. Okay. But like your family knows where they came from. I yeah. don't. Whatever. Yeah. And I was just like, Well, I'm third gen. And then this motherfucker comes back and he was like, Oh, haha, ha, I'm third gen too. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. He replies back with some I'm third gen too. And I was like, bitch, and I sent it to Mish and I was just like, Who the fuck does he think he is? And then she was like, No, for real. Like, sorry, I can't fucking uh trace back my family heritage. All I have is a trail of tears. <laughs> Couldn't stop laughing, bitch. I was like, I'm crying. I've been having this conversation a lot this year. No, so dead I'm ass. kinda over it. It's been serious though. Coming in with some sad news, dog. Oh. Green Ranger passed away, dog. I know. Yeah. It's been like oh, November's shot. been wild, y'all. We've oh, lost quite shot, a few bro. people. Just the end of the year, period. I don't yeah. know what's going on. The seasonal depression getting everybody. 2022 said, oh, y'all thought it was over. Yeah. Y'all thought it was a game. 
And we still got a whole nother month. To freedom. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving, y'all. Y'all ready? Yes. Have I'm y'all ready. had any awkward uh, Friendsgiving, any awkward family uh, moments yet we'll so see. far? So we do acknowledge Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just want to make sure. I, I need to. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Sometimes I forget which holidays we actually celebrate. I feel um, we celebrate everything because we love capitalism in some ways, but we don't I celebrate everything support the reasoning love. behind them. I love my family so much. That's fair. I would die for them. Thanksgiving is goaded like though, for real. It's a I'll it's a good holiday. I'll die, die for you. <laughs> it really, it's like a, it's it really is a good holiday. It's not like it really like there's not really gifts involved. Yeah, like, like people go get I food, like but people can go get food any. That's why together. I like it because it's you know? one of the few holidays that's not rooted around like buying something for somebody. Right. Like so, yeah, it is a lot of fun. I had a really good. My first Friendsgiving was last Wednesday. It was so good. I was kind of shook. I didn't expect because you know like. Friendsgivings and like potlucks, it's yeah. kind of like hit or miss. Is this food dude good? for real? Yeah. But the one I went to, everything was lit. I was eating that shit up. I yeah. ate two plates. I had every single one of the fucking desserts. That shit was good. Yeah. I was taking I was taking this lady to um, a friendsgiving, and on our way, this uh, lady of Viking descent got out of her <laughs> car and picked up a dead animal, <gasps> and moved it off of the road. With and her hands? Yeah, With her bare, bare hands? hands. Bare ass hands. Hell? Fucking and she's nasty. like, this is exactly why I'm not going to eat everybody's food there. No, you, I was like, you smart. Like, <laughs> see, because my Friendsgiving was at church, so I feel a little bit more trusting. But, yeah. like, I know friends who, like, do Thanksgiving at, like, work. Yeah. And, like, bro, you don't know who got animals yeah. and what their house look like. And they cooking food and bringing it over. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's scary. But So why are you trying to avoid time with your family that you don't like? Watch this podcast and follow us on Instagram at Imperfect Voices Pod. Better get. Go. Uh, on Twitter at the IV Podcast. Period. Yes. And on YouTube, our new handle, Imperfect Voices Podcast. Yes. Yep. I was going to say, put the podcast on while y'all, while are, y'all are eating. While y'all are eating. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to make noises like this. We're going to have. Y'all, what, what I really wanted to do, y'all, we and should I eat. didn't because oh, no, I. We should, yeah, we should do it. I don't have. Just ASMR, ASMR, right? No. Yeah. Oh. Um, oh my I was dead ass. I really wanted to like have the pod episode happen and then just like out of nowhere pull a bunch of food out and like for them not to know. I wanted to like <laughs> just like pull out all this fucking food and plates and, shit, and start but, eating. Yeah. yeah, but it's like our setups kind of like we have a lot of Limited wires. Chewing on the turkey leg. <laughs> I was gonna say me yeah. and Jordan are like planning a a fucking uh what what are they called imperfect whatevers? <laughs> I don't know what uh, I don't I don't do anything. Imperfect perfect spotlight and perfect spotlight thank god perfect okay spotlight with yeah all and we're just gonna asmr our turkey di- or our thanksgiving dinner where it's he was like pour the gravy on top <laughs> and you watch it fall <laughs> like, yeah. speaking of food speaking of food the baby was walking around a random cheesecake factory and handing out free tickets and no one was accepting them. Did most. y'all see this video? Yes. He was someone was like, Why is he here again? Yes. <laughs> that like, shit was sad. Why is he here again? And you know what? Congratulations to the internet because we haven't successfully cancelled anybody, but the baby got fucking cancelled. Yeah, uh, was that right though? Huh? Was, was it was right that, for him to really get cancelled? Was it right for him yeah. to get cancelled like that? Do we okay on that level, we, on that scale? No, there because are definitely people seemed, who need to be canceled. It seemed bitter. ignorant, like more of what he was talking about was more ignorance, because really he was like, like if what did he what did he say? If you ain't sucking dick or something like that, like <laughs> yeah. put your hands like <laughs> scream and we canceled him over that. I, it was, but he had said something about like oh he was talking or, about homophobic. That was a homophobic thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It can't, yeah it was he, he was homophobic. like. Um, if you suck in dick, but I don't know. He he said some gay shit. Or like, if you ain't got no diseases or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. but I mean, he was advocating for sexual health, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we should defend what he said, but at the end of the day, like to get canceled like this, I just don't think people were really well, rocking with him. Yes, first that's what I was gonna say. Jordan you know? said we blocked his bag. He has a family. <laughs> I agree. I don't think it was like, I think he kind of did it himself. Like, you already weren't even that great of an artist. And then you said no, some dumb bro. shit. So we were all like, nah. Yeah. How are you only a supporting artist? But I think eventually it becomes something where it's just like, you get that reputation of being funny to make fun of. Mm-hmm. And he's got that now. That's true. To where and it's now. Now it's funny to like, oh, you get him the baby ticket? Like, all right, now we really got to like. And that's the up. thing because this happened in Atlanta. And then his show in Atlanta was packed out. 
Oh, yeah, like yeah, these are early jokes on the internet. No, I, I really idea. don't think it's like legitimate. Like, and this dude, I think like, it's just funny on the he internet. He threw his freaking shoe up into the balcony, and this dude almost jumped off the balcony to get that hole to catch it. Yeah, so I was like, bro, you're, you're doing this for the baby, eating, bro. Yeah, big dick eater, dog. Yeah, I think it was that uh, that Boosie interview, and he, was, and he was saying like, oh, like he's he's actually still like <laughs> his concerts are still things. people are still coming and stuff. It's just not he's not getting radio play. He's not getting yeah. the internet presence no more. So. Okay, my first thing was, y'all said major dick eating. Um, somebody did a baby drop today, like they finally had their child, and they named it after their uh, their spouse, and I was like, big dick eating, no. but <laughs> I meant to send it to y'all. Whole family full of but dick But I did, eaters. I was like, yeah, whole family full of dick eaters. So, you know, everybody was like, congrats, congrats. I was like, oh, y'all, I'm supporting the dick eating. Dang, um, they, they did a nine-month rollout, and you go you know, shit on them like that. <laughs> and then um, the second one was that um, we should, because uh, the baby I tickets are by the baby tickets are buy one get one free right now we should um support this up and coming artist looking ass and we should go and then whenever he comes on stage we just boo him like hard as fuck I'm like dead. i just want to ruin I his fucking day. <laughs> who <laughs> the baby oh. i can't do that shit because i have been in a lot of awkward situations I've stood in a lot of empty crowds. I've been the only one clapping my hands and so <laughs> no, I'm for real. scarred for life. I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna support. That's just you gonna he, she gonna sing baby on baby by word. Like every word. I'm gonna clap on beat. <laughs> I'm gonna pl- ha- record the whole thing like I'm the biggest fan. I'm sorry, not That's to get off problem. on a tangent, but I hate clapping. Clapping is the <laughs> All time worst at the at thing. a concert. Yeah, I hate people that clap. I hate people. <laughs> but like, when I mean, I back when we used to be in church, I, was I ever one to clap? I never clapped. Right, I used to be the one that beating on the chair. Hey, I need a chair in front of me so no, I can. Yeah, I'm like, dead. I hate <laughs> clapping. <laughs> clapping is the most awkward thing. Or where, when um, people would come to do concerts and they'd be like, "Clap!" I'm like, "No, no. Like, <laughs> George, Stop it. y'all just traumatized George. Like, I no, hate clapping. Y'all just triggered his ass. I hate clapping. Clapping's the worst. Sorry, go ahead. It's funny we were at that. Um, we were at the karaoke thing yesterday, and Bridge was like, "This man keep clapping off beat," and I could not stop laughing. <laughs> that was us today. I was practicing singing some songs with some of the kiddos, and they could not. They were like, the "Beat." I was like, mm-hmm. "Swaggerless, <laughs> swaggerless, no seasoning, no oh seasoning." God. Kodak is beefing with Twenty One Savage. Ooh. Y'all want to hear some of the audio? I think it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, go. Oh, oh, Nas is relevant. Oh yeah, this was about how the Nas. fuck Nas he relevant? Huh? How the fuck Nas ain't relevant? Huh? Nas, nigga smoking dick, huh? I'm about to fucking uh Drake. Fuck, how many niggas did no fucking did a fucking Drake, nigga? What I'm saying? We salute Drake. We love Drake. Okay, whatever. Fan full of smoking dick, huh? What the fuck on that Drake? <laughs> man, man, Nas that nigga, huh? I know I can't. I know I can't be, be what I wanna be. Be what I wanna be. Can I work hard at it? I be where I wanna be. Be where I wanna be. So of course the internet, like I said, takes everything out of out of context and stuff. But um, they were having some type of discussion on Clubhouse, and uh, uh, everyone ran with the headline that 21 Savage said that Nas was irrelevant. Mm. And he just won a Grammy last year. I do agree. That he's irrelevant? Yeah. So, Uh-oh, the I hip-hop think, head's going to come for Yeah, you, Devil's mm-hmm. Favorite Advocate checking in. Hey. Um, so, what I think, this thing. I I think what he was <laughs> saying was that Nas isn't pushing culture right now. Yeah. Ah. Like, Nas still has fans. Nas is still... Lit. Like he had a really good album that came out. He just dropped the new album. Um, who who dropped? Um, King's who produced Disease that last one? The last one. Because everybody was talking about Hit Boy. Hit Boy. So because um, King Disease. Everybody too. was always talking about Nas's beats and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So he had Hit Boy produce it. He had a really good album come out. Um, what I think he's trying to say is that we're not. Nas isn't pushing things forward. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. there's a lot of relevant artists that we're checking for. Yeah, they're on yeah, the yeah. charts. They're they're doing these award he's shows. Settled into what they're he's doing, doing a lot of touring stuff yeah. like that. And so Nas has his niche, niche following. Niche, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, his fans are his fans. Yeah. He checks for his fans. He's not trying to like I feel win that way other people Crit. over. He's doing his thing. Crit is I another feel that thing. Way about Crit, Crit, you could you could have the 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 argument that Crit is irrelevant. Yeah. Because he's not trying he's not like to be about. relevant. Yeah, but his he's fan like, hey, base is I know heavy. who, and that's what Wale needs to do. Wale needs to realize, hey, I have my Talk my people. It. I have my lane. I'm gonna stick Stay with my lane. I'm not lane. trying to be relevant. Yeah. So Nas isn't trying to be relevant. He he's got his business ventures. He's got his businesses. He he's making he's music. Still for one his of the fans. best rappers ever. Mm-hmm. But he's not trying to be like number one on the charts. You anymore, are preaching because you know? if motherfuckers so, would just do that. Yeah, just stick in your lane. Yeah, like like y'all trying to do. Want to be pop stars instead yeah, of just exactly. rapping. Just rap. Just Who do you have in a Kodak versus Twenty One versus? 
Ooh. Because twenty one said twenty said one said he could smoke everybody on his freshman cover, and it's really Yikes. it's that really twenty one fire. Though. Yeah, it's really twenty one versus Uzi or twenty one versus Kodak, and I would yeah. like to see both. But they got some good ones on there. Have um, y'all heard that new little Uzi song? I just want to rock. Body out of y'all. Oh, oh. That's not even <laughs> new anymore, fine. I feel like. It's, it's like fire, months old. That fuck is fire. Um, the video who do I have winning? At a, uh, Kodak 21 and 21. At a Kodak 21 and Uzi. Uzi is automatically Ooh, out. No, I'm just just out of Kodak and 21 Savage. I think 21 Savage. If if I'm not counting this most recent album. This recent album. Was, who? Huh? You saying 21 beats Kodak? 21 and Kodak? Yeah. I think so. Nah, bro. Features. Kodak. I'm, 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 Kodak. Look, I'm looking at features. Yeah. Too. I feel like that crowd. Will he has be the biggest crazy. song, "No Flocking." No flocking. So that's a bar, that's a point right there. <laughs> nah, yeah. Without no flocking, you don't even get Bodak Yellow. So I know, but no flocking is. Is Kodak kind of underrated? Um, I think that I, think I can so. I can slightly agree to that. Like culturally, only, culturally, yeah. He might be. I think I can slightly agree to that. Am I saying that Kodak not getting enough flowers? No, he good. Yeah, he <laughs> he's good. straight. Um, but I mean, is he underrated a little? Yes, a little bit. But I don't know, Kodak in 21, I feel like I just don't fuck with Kodak um, personally enough. But if I'm only thinking musically, I don't know. What if? It's close. Super Gremlin? That's what I said. It's like close. It's close. Super Gremlin's a a point. That's that's the... What if um, I just come Do it. Go ahead. We pay for the space for the whole hour, bitch. (laughs) ZZ? Yeah. ZZ Tunnel Um, Vision? What if we... No, no, when I see me winning. When I see me in a yeah. Um, Rolling peace. That's my favorite. What if we Wake instead up, of like paying back. artists to like make music, like, they didn't notice what me. if we did like the Hunger Games and we like chose artists to like fight to the death? Oh my god. Okay, so this is what Wouldn't our plan is gonna cool? be. We're gonna pick uh, a Kills round of twelve, models. and you're gonna show your battle. Uh, well, not like let's create obviously. a card game. We're- <laughs> Where like you pick the your artist voices part card and then game. you lay the you lay it oh. down and then it's like this versus this so it's like versus but with cards. Okay, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, it's like trademark. War. Don't steal our fucking idea. Okay, but it's Kmart. like we it's can like war. We can play it like war. Trademark. Oh, I thought you said Kmart. <laughs> Kmart, don't steal our idea. Hey, bro, is there still Kmart's in the world? No, I don't know. it's just Target, right? Like that got absorbed completely, yeah. right? Yeah, irrelevant. Are you also looking up songs? What's next? Um, Taylor Swift versus uh, Ticketmaster. Yikes. Oh yeah, that um, shit was wild. Okay, I don't know what that happened. shit was wild. Tell First of all, it. Taylor's tickets are going for like thou- like hundreds of thousands no, five of dollars. Figures. Five, five figures. Five figures. Yeah. yeah. Five Tens figures. of thousands of dollars. Yes. 000, yes. Who wait for floor tickets? That's a resale. No. That's gotta be resale. No, yeah, it was. It was. Oh. So they got basically like the bots and the resellers literally were just like too much for her. And so she just had to take all her tickets down because like her fans were not getting her tickets, none of them. And the prices were outrageous. So yeah. She's going to, I think she's going to try and do something like where she's actually getting her fans to her tickets, but she should have really thought about that like way before. So yeah, I but I mean, know. how are you going to know that? What a, um, I mean, because like, I, I don't know a lot about it, but BTS, however they did their tickets for their um, LA show, they did it like very specifically to get it to their fans. And that's the only reason I even got tickets because I dead ass never thought I was going to see BTS live with my own eyeballs because mm-hmm. they're like so crazy. So I feel like there's steps that you can take. I was like, that's kind of how I feel about Beyonce, but like I don't know, because Beyonce tickets are always outrageous. Yeah, in my true. opinion, they're yeah. never like tens She's of thousands with of dollars. Taylor Swift, though, like, I know, but I'm saying they're never ten th- tens of thousands of dollars. But I've definitely seen thousand dollar Beyonce tickets. Before. Yeah, that shit was like ninety five. And Ticketmaster is now under investigation by the Justice Department for abusing its monopoly power over the live music industry. Bitch. Per the New York no, for Times. real. Cause shut it down, bro. Stop the count. Ticketmaster owns. Ticketmaster <laughs> owns the tickets, and then Live Nation owns the venue, so they're working in cahoots. Yeah, you know, for sure. Crazy. And how how is it that both of y'all are charging a fucking service fee, and it's damn near thirty forty dollars extra? Yeah. Like. That don't even make no That's sense. like when you book and, an Airbnb in the And community. you're it's not like even sending me no price. physical tickets, bitch. You're over here fucking sending me an email. Like, that don't cost you that much, bitch. And they have to pay for the facilities. Girl. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fuck them. Good luck. No, but literally. shout out to y'all who did get Swifty tickets. Yeah. Someone was like, I forgot who I was talking to, but they were like, well, she's basically the devil. And I was like, so we're just going to go have like some worship. And they were like, <laughs> <laughs> they were like, yeah. And I was like, all right. And then I'm like, you go to the Taylor Swift concert and you I'm like dead. black out. And then you come to when it's over. And like you had like an out of body experience. That oh, video my God. Was earlier was like they paid thousands for this. Yeah. She, oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh, she's like dancing. this. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was funny. Hey, but you know what? Fuck it. That yeah. bitch going to make it money forever. She be getting money. Yeah. yeah. Question of the day. 
question of the day. Oh, yeah. What y'all thankful for? Ugh, my it's God. Thanksgiving, y'all. Oh, you changed it? <laughs> Thanks, God. Thank what God. What was it? No, there was one. Yeah. I'm just playing it off the hip. <laughs> I'm uh, off the hip, baby. Off the I hip. do this. What was it? I do this for real. We'll come back to what it. What y'all thankful for? Okay, fine. Um, it's Thanksgiving. Oh, because you, I know what he's tying it into now. Okay. Yeah. I got something. am thankful for my family, as I said before. And when I say my family, I include these guys and like my family. You know, these they know guys, who we are. Oh, uh, now I'm these guys. Oh, my yeah, God. Right. Y'all know their names. I'm not even a guy. How awkward. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. <sighs> Just kidding. No, I am like... Not me being married. <laughs> I am like insanely thankful for my family and my friends. Insane. And I'm going to go on a tangent since you gave me the platform to do so. Girl, this is not peace out. Go ahead. Uh, anyways... Um, speaking of peace outs, y'all gotta listen to Seth's peace out from the last podcast because my bitch was going through it. I was like, yo, <laughs> that hey, shit was yo. funny. Anyways, I moved away for like two years and when, <laughs> and all, literally all that did for she me. She was being held captive. <laughs> yeah, I was under like a brainwash, but it's fine. But that shit made me so thankful. Like I remember coming back home and it's like I saw everything through a new light and uh. it's never left. I've never like... It like stuck with me. It was like being without my family and friends for those two years just made me like cherish everything more. So I love y'all. Uh, That's very sweet. Thanks. Yeah. Um, they don't love me. They didn't even fucking listen to me. They were all on their goddamn phones. I was listening the whole time. <laughs> I'm just, I, I I'm just, what I, are y'all thankful for? I'm thinking about like, wow, you really did do that, huh? I did, yeah. yeah. It was fun. You should try it. Hell no. <laughs> okay. You're in your early 20s. Move to a different state. Remember that one time whenever all of us were like sitting in Texas, not sure what was happening with Misha and her whole other state. Yeah. And we all had to become friends with each other because she was the only one that was keeping us together. <laughs> That's what happened. Pretty much. I moved away and y'all were like, well, I guess it's just us now. <laughs> yeah. Guess we'll hold it down. Yeah, I'm back. Cheers. Yeah, to Florida of all places. Uh. The fucking Florida. armpit of America. Yeah. Literally. Not Miami, guys. You said the A armpit? lawless swamp. <laughs> yeah, not Miami. Um, Go, Steph. Let me see. I am thankful for the First Amendment because I'll be saying anything and everything I want to fucking say God. on God, bitch. Like, you use the fuck out of that First I, Amendment, yeah, bitch. And um, I be trying not to incite anything. I don't have followers like Misha does. Like, no one's going to fucking start a riot. Uh, for me but I enjoy being able to say whatever the fuck I say on Twitter especially because I thought that Twitter was gonna go away and mm, I thought about putting Twitter as my thankful for but yeah no but anyways I thought Twitter was gonna go away so I let off some um fucking shit that's been sitting in my drafts and I was like that shit is wild as hell they were all golden but, bro literally everybody I was reading was through like, that shit and I was like hell yeah <laughs> because I mean that shit wholeheartedly and if you get a chance to go read them um there wasn't many likes on it and I didn't really care but um it was just fucking funny because I was like who the fuck thinks of this shit yep. me bro yeah. me that's how I be feeling too <laughs> every time I say some shit but I don't get on Twitter the way that uh, Misha does so but yes thankful for the first amendment that's the most random thing to ever say no it's perfect yeah. it's perfect go ahead the first amendment i like it it's <laughs> cute all right so my obligation is to say <laughs> thankful for my kid <laughs> bitch home. i hate it <laughs> i hate it we love it thank you for family <laughs> for love i love my wife for peace my life mm. <laughs> Oxygen. my health yeah <laughs> i'm glad we were on the same page yeah that's it Okay, well, what do you what? Okay. <laughs> what are you now? What are you thankful? He said Sunday night football. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really thankful for Jalen Hurts getting that touchdown. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> AJ Brown. No, I'm just kidding. He didn't get a touchdown. Oh, I, need, I need a touchdown. I'm I'm speaking into existence. Okay, but Amen. Um, to no. AJ Brown. To AJ Brown. I mean, we had our um, little um, one of our family Thanksgivings yesterday, and it was really oh. nice getting people together. Ooh, come on, baby. We um, in the red zone. Just getting to see. We in the red zone. Let's go. Um, just getting to see people, but I I really do think like. You know, the older you get, the less, like, I mean, you get more involved with your own stuff. Yeah. yeah. And doing your own thing. And I think it is nice, at least to have something, like, a holiday that's just dedicated to what you do have and not what you want. Yeah. You know? And so, yeah. um, it is nice, you know, and I am thankful for my family and, uh, you know, you know, loving wife, loving, you know, kid, you know, my mom, dad, I have everybody, like, I really haven't had, I mean... You know, not to get into other stuff, but, you know, people close to me have had other people, you know, pass away in the mm -hmm. last, you know, year and stuff like that. And I just, you know, it's not to be thankful that you 
that hasn't happened to you, but to be thankful that those people are here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and to be able to cherish them while they are here. Yeah. So yeah, I am. Yeah. Um, Cannot say that enough, and I think we need to do that more often. Mm-hmm. I agree. That was good. No, for real. I'm thankful for um, bad fathers. Um, bad fathers, because you get to. Oh I get no! To, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm grateful for bad fathers to daughters. Come here, know? baby. Daddy got you. I got you, baby. I'll take Daddy's care. I'm the opposite. Home. I'm like, come here, baby. Mommy got you. <laughs> Misha ain't carrying nobody at all, bitch. She's your tiny ass. <laughs> she says, <laughs> How you Listen, gonna be? They missed it. They, they missed did, it. but you motherfucking right. Yeah, on God. How you gonna be the big spoobies? I'm like, what you need, baby? <laughs> it's disgusting. I hate it. Let's move along. Oh my God. Everybody say blessed. Blessed. <laughs> and the opportunity. That's what, that's what I'm grateful for. The opportunity. Oh, I'm for the I opportunity. hate me and Jay because we're pieces of shit, damn it. it. <laughs> Y'all over here talking about family and we're like, I like bitches. <laughs> it's balance. No, no, for real. I'm dead ass. I'm, for, I'm serious. That was my thing. I'm thankful for the opportunity. Whatever it is to stunt, to work hard, get money, be around family, be around friends, be around, be around loved ones. I feel that. Being around people that have low self esteem, <laughs> women that have low self esteem and low likes on Instagram. Oh my God. All that uh, stuff. I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity. I feel that. That's the best way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's next? Love it. Break. Um, okay. I have, I have an actual question of the day. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go. Okay. Why are you looking at me? Jalen Hurts just scored a touchdown, you but did? not to AJ oh. Brown. Damn it. What was it? Fantasy <laughs> football. God. You said. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, and that's to do with washing your body. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Be Simone Jr. Be Simone. Be Simone. Wait, Jr. Pa, wait, is it the Dingleberries one? No, but oh. okay. wait, y'all. Like okay, <laughs> was Be Simone on the list at all? No, but okay, she but is it now. was funny as fuck because y'all know if y'all are on Twitter, y'all know that Be Simone was on the podcast talking about that she only bathes like once every couple of days. Oh yeah, uh-huh. but then she was like in the shower, I guess, trying to like fight the allegations, and yeah. her fucking shower cam- at caddy was empty. It wasn't shit yeah. in there. It was almost like she put the shower caddy in there for looks, like because I Yo. got at least six things on my shower caddy Absolutely. and I got shit next to Bitch, it. Bitch, my shit is so heavy that if it fell, it would make a loud ass on. Yes. Sound. Her shower caddy was shampoo, empty, and they're like, "Bitch, you beard, cannot convince shampoo, us." Like face, face wash, wash, okay, body wash, okay, <laughs> so go. Bad. scrub. All I right, want to know. All right, but then we'll take a break afterwards. I just want y'all to right. know that we don't know what he's about to say. Body I, scrub, at all. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> why is he looking directly at you? That's what why you I'm. Do that's wrong? why I'm nervous. I'm pausing for dramatic effect. Okay, it's working. All right. You can't wash one of these for the rest of your life. Oh, God. Oh. Feet. <laughs> like, I don't know. Give us our options. Your ass or your crotch. Your ass or your crotch? Yes. God. Hit crotch. Hell no. That's so many health problems for a woman. Yeah. So, yeah, I have to. Yeah, you're right. We got we got to say crotch. I mean, we got to say we have to wash ass, our crotch. Yeah, like I have to wash. We have to wash our, our Why crotch. are you laughing? I'm stank. <laughs> like that's a, I mean <laughs> it's not cause y'all stink. It's just like y'all bro, like stink. I mean, what do you like if if we saying if we don't wash our ass? Which yep. one would you not wash? For we the rest we of would life? have to not wash I would our have ass to not wash we my have ass. to wash yeah, yeah, exactly. so like, And I say crutch. You wouldn't wash your crotch? Yeah. Ugh. But the reason why though it's is because do. Yeah, men I know. already don't wash their crotches sometimes. <laughs> I'm not saying Jay does it. I'm just saying. Yeah, like that girl, the girl okay. the other step day on Twitter whose boyfriend was like one. saying that he don't oh wash his ass. Step Ew, one, you wash your crotch before you wash like anything yes. else? 100%. That's the first thing. He gets in, he's like. He literally goes. Yeah. What's the first he's thing that y'all wash? for the shower. Before I put on my little like scrubber gloves, wash the crotch. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. I, I always wash my, I always do shampoo first. I start my upper body. Shampoo first? Mm-hmm. I shampoo last. I shampoo first. I shampoo, like, okay, if I'm going to wash my hair, I'm going to get wet, put the shampoo on because yeah. I, after I wash my shampoo out, I yeah, wash my body it, after. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I do. But I have sensitive skin, so I can't just leave everything on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do shampoo. I wash my body while I'm letting my conditioner sit Me in my too. hair. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. I do yeah. it at the end, just like, and I wash my face at the end, too. But it's washing like, your crotch, okay, I, I'm not a man, so I don't know. First of all, crotch was like the most random word to use for that yeah. they use crotch well, so he I did i know but that's why well, it was so i mean random. it's different for y'all than because we have different class. crotches so, yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Like, but that's, i feel that's like an all-encompassing word getting yeah. in the shower washing your crotch first that is random as fuck like i do not go in the shower and be like <laughs> like that is, <laughs> that's fucking weird we a, a couple months ago it was three they do yeah we need to take a couple months ago it was three times a day 
Oh yeah, hell yeah! When it was fucking hot outside. <laughs> he thought he was in jail, bitch. <laughs> Three dead. times okay. a day. Dog. So before Dang. before we cut it off you though, work from home. I don't, <laughs> I don't even remember like who it was or if it was just like if it was somebody popular or if it was just like a, ra- a random conversation on Twitter. But it was a video, um, and they were talking about like. Man, do you scrub your ass or do you just oh, let I the was, water run through? <laughs> yeah, I was. And, I just brought that up just now, but y'all didn't hear me. But go. What oh. I mean, water go, has, go, doesn't go. have anything to do with scrubbing, so you can scrub and right, then right. Water. But these men were like, "No, nah, I let the water run through. Like it cleans it." Yeah, no. like and in a, she was like, was "You don't put water thing. on your hands, like and not scrub." When and she was hands? like, "You don't get in there and like get the dingleberry." <laughs> And he, so yeah, could not it was a lot. It was a lot of guys who were saying that they don't like. Really they don't scrub, scrub their, their ass. ass. Yeah. And Why I thought not? you were low-key going to say that. No. I feel sorry for women sometimes. We're about to go on a break, but I got new socks on. I, yeah. I do feel sorry for women because, I, I mean, feel... dudes do not wash their hands. So, yeah. Bro, let alone what, what else they don't, they don't wash. Women don't. don't wash their hands either. You know, I see bitches all the time oh, at the, the club? restroom. Yes. Really? Not wash, yes. I, I be trying to give them the benefit of the doubt because they might be like, drunk. What the fuck is her name? Adriana. Um, by we, law, yeah, she yeah. was on The View talking about she don't wash her hands when she goes to the restroom because the toilet paper is the only thing that touches her. I told this woman the other day, I said, I feel sorry for you because like there's a dude behind us right now and on his eyebrow on his car, it says naughty. Oh, yeah. I was like, bro, the bar is in hell. I feel it sorry is. For the bar is in hell. We got to break. I feel bad for All women. Right, yeah, break. break. All right. Frozen. Frozen heroes gonna tell you about Frozen. Frozen heroes gonna tell you about. Hey, I'm Zach and I'm Mike, and we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, foes, and heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe, especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden Age stuff is always the best, and we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah, that's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at bros, bros, heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. <laughs> bros and, bros and heroes. Gonna tell you about bros and, bros and heroes. Gonna tell you about Um, what are we doing here, Rusty? What are we gonna do? Uh, yep, we're doing the uh, King of the Hill rewatch podcast. King of the Hill yes, rewatch sir. podcast. Yeah, so we're gonna go through one episode at a time. Uh, come along for the ride with us. Come check it out. And hey, give me give me a good um, like Dale Gribble quote to go out on. Wingo. Yeah, <laughs> Wingo. 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 All right. Well, join us. Uh, join us for uh, the uh, King of the Hill rewatch podcast. In the heart of Texas, that drinks his brew and he spits his chew. Maybe in the heart of Texas, the TV players, but no one cares. Maybe in the heart of Texas. Here we go. All right. These yeah, this duo has podcasts. been away from the game for a while now. The duo. One of the greatest duos of the '90s, and they're back. Jordan and Pippin. Let's go. Not but in a different way. But not the Jordan and Pippin you thought it was. If y'all seen on the internet, Larsa Pimpin is now dating the son of Michael Jordan. What's his name? Marcus. Uh, Marcus Jordan. Right? Yeah, oh, Marcus. No. Yeah, Marcus yeah. Oldson. How y'all Michael's f- son, whoever. <laughs> She's obviously obviously a predator of some I'll sort, I'll leave this. Right? So, do y'all understand what's going on? Um, slightly, yes. So, Michael Jordan and Scotty Pippen were teammates, right? Right. Going through, right? Scotty Pippen Six married rings. to Larsa Pippen, which is basically a Kim Kardashian clone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, 
They have kids, whatever. They're grown. Uh, they're divorced now, right? Yeah. But um, didn't they get divorced because he was cheating though too? I think they got divorced because. Is anyone ever really cheating? I just fucked your bitch in some Gucci, Gucci flip flops. flops. I think that's why they got divorced. Um, and I made them lip lock. Yeah. Um, but now she is dating. Follow, follow along. Jordan. Michael, Michael Jordan's, Jordan's son. son. Okay. The same son that was probably running around the arena. Yeah, back in probably, the days. probably in their house. Yeah, in at their some house. Point. Yeah, in each other's houses. Yes. Yeah. No, I think it's disgusting. But am I supposed to be more shocked because every time, whenever, oh, you know, they're consenting adults. That's all the fucking conversation that they have with. Whenever men be fucking with these young ass bitches, so yeah. It's a debate. It's an ongoing debate on Twitter. Am I supposed to care, though? I don't care about football. Like, if it was a guy. I was going to say football, bitch, because I don't. But if it was a guy, I would think it would still be a problem. <clears throat> but, like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to make any. I think this bitch is disgusting. First of all, her body looks opinion. disgusting. She's done her body. T- terrible work to herself. That's like when, uh, what was Lori Harvey? Uh, wasn't she dating her dad's? Lori Harvey was um, no. dated Diddy, and she dated Diddy's son. Yeah. Oh, and it was yeah, weird yeah, yeah, whenever yeah. Diddy but was dating her, too. she dated the son first. Yeah. She dated yeah. Then she dated Diddy. That's fucked up. They were, <laughs> they were trying to say that she it's, savage, it's gross that Diddy's dating Carisha. And I feel, because like he's a lot older than her, too. Yeah. Do you feel the same way about that as you feel about? Carisha is also 30, though. But see, how old is Marcus? He's mid-20s. Marcus Jordan is Early 20s. like my age, like 30. Oh, he's 30 already? See. But she's like... 50? 50? Yeah, but that's the same thing. Diddy's as Diddy. 50? That's the same thing as Diddy. Over 50? That's the same thing as Diddy and Carisha. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with, with the Diddy thing. Well, it's just, it's more like women are more attracted. Ten- women tend to be more attracted to older men. Right? But because this situation is not that, what? No, I think what's weird is that it's like her so- husband's teammate's son <laughs> type of thing. You know? I, mean, I think no. Really, yeah, it's just I, it's just entertaining because it's Jordan and Pippen. If yeah. it was anybody else, we'd be like, oh, who cares? Because y'all like, said Jordan and Pippen, and I was like, oh, did they do something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they did. did so, yeah. Oh, they did so all day long. So baby. do we think? <laughs> so do we? How do you think that Jordan and Pippen feel? Because I feel like that's a better question Jordan than being said, like, fuck them kids. Yeah, Jordan. Don't Jordan care. said, fuck them kids. And I don't give a fuck. Jordan, what do you think? Said, Jordan said, and I took that personal. <laughs> <laughs> and he <laughs> sent the son after her. Okay, yeah, exactly. but what do you think about Pippin? Because I feel like he's not cute. Like, he's not really getting bitches. I feel like he if I was Pippin. Yeah, yeah. Joe Budden he's rich. said he's on rich, the podcast yeah. that he saw him in Houston this weekend, and he looks like he is not stressed hurt about the news well, at no, all. Oh, because dang. I feel like if nah, I was Pippin, and good. I'm like, my wife, who's my age, we got divorced, and she's dating, like, basically a kid. I'm just like she probably going through some things, so I probably I would feel bad for her, really. Like she didn't date her future. P. Davidson's next. She, yeah, she did f- date future. P. Davidson is next. Yep. One of my friends texted me and was like, "I don't understand how is P. Davidson getting these bitches." Because he got that shit. I'm like, bro, he got a big dick. What the got fuck? Shit. And he got All jokes. Right. All right, so I brought jokes. this up um, to Sharon. All right, oh, let's tell her what um, she about I, how he's dating Rema Ronaldskowski. So, yes, Mike Wazowski. I mean, now. Well, we know that, but what I'm saying is. I thought it was dudes that were all into like big booties and like the breasts and the nice bodies and stuff like that. But yeah. all these women are so, so they gotta have girl. Pete because they heard the rumors. Yeah, I mean, you heard Ariana. I don't even think it has nothing on to her do. on her music video. Thank you, next. Did you see it? Yeah, thank a- you. Ariana is small. Everything's big. Yeah, <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, you're not wrong. Like, let's, okay, let's just talk not about gonna anything. hate. You're not wrong. You know, no, I mean, here. yeah, girls. I feel like women in general. They're like, is your dick big? I think the idea, like, okay. Not my experience. Go ahead. Then you haven't fucked with no shooters. I yeah, he's like. a wholesome man. Is that yeah, okay? Exactly. Is that shooter. all right? You're family. the shooter, right? Is that yeah. Jordan telling us no. that his dick is small? I'm a family man. <laughs> God, no. I'm a family man. <laughs> but I feel like. He's telling us he ain't a hoe. No, I don't there know. There it is. It just depends. Yeah, okay. Just I could depends. care less about that. Well, I don't know. But I I'm mean, saying, you're also talking about at the beginning. Like, I don't, like, women asking that. Some people do. Yeah, some. Y'all do. ever asked that? You ever yes. asked? I don't. I You've don't. asked that before? I've had. I've had you ever asked that? No. All right, well, you're. Am the, I like. Am I, I stressed what, about it? No. But I mean, like, I have been like. You've asked. Bitch, it. like, yeah. I don't like, even have to ask. Who I was going to go off on y'all? No, you're oh. right. You're right. Exactly. That's yeah, the point. Yeah, unsolicited. That's the point. All I was going to go bitch. off on y'all. That's the point, though. Jump. Like, why do women. Like, I don't feel like women are asking, hey, is it. I'm not, dog. Jay's encouraging. Because I feel like that's not 
the most Listen. important thing. I don't, it's not. It's, I don't gotta ask. But also, shit. I'm like, these motherfuckers say, are sitting their dick for free through the mail. No, that's what I'm like, saying. Like, I don't even ask. These motherfuckers want to like you they want everybody to see their dick. I just feel like it's really childish. Like, oh yeah, maybe in high school. Oh yeah, what what size bra you wear? Like, no one cares about that. That's what I was gonna say. You didn't give me a chance to clarify and be like, I'm not asking dick sizes right now. Like, I'm a fucking adult, bitch. That's what I'm saying. These are adults. But oh, you have in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no, but. The reason I, it, it was think elementary, probably. <laughs> that's a little inappropriate. What I mean is like <laughs> just, just being kidding. like really, yeah. really young. We're yeah, like that's something young. that Oh hey. I think you like, meant juvenile, juvenile, not elementary. Yeah, yeah, yeah juvenile. juvenile. Thank My you bad God. Old. I was yeah. like <laughs> elementary. We are really Jesus small Christ. When you would ask something like that. <laughs> no. Jesus Mary and Joseph. Um, <laughs> Nowadays it's energy. It's about the energy. Yeah. yeah. No, dead ass. Because I feel like if you have good energy, like you finna bring something. Exactly. Hey y'all, I'm April. Hi, I'm Caroline. And we have a new podcast for you. What's it called, Caroline? Uh, Bloody Happy Hour. It's going to be your new favorite guilty pleasure. We're going to talk about some bloody stuff. Serial killers. True crime. Rape. <laughs> Rapists. <laughs> Why not join us? We'll have a good time. You literally never know. I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Bloody Happy Hour. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Trapito's back on Twitter. He didn't didn't want to have that conversation. He's back for real, though. Like, he's running. He said he's running. Yeah, Yeah, he's back on Twitter. He's back running. I want to keep bringing up how Jay is the only person that gives a fuck about Trump, and I swear to God, he a Trump supporter. Like, I can't. I can't. I don't. My I man's got it. My man's got a red hat in his closet. Supporter. I'm not a Trump supporter. Buried in his closet. Oh my God! Did y'all see that picture of that of that black girl that had a fucking? Yeah. Uh, she had a red um, uh, bucket hat. She had a get a great, uh, make yeah. America great again bucket hat. You seen that bitch before? Yeah. That was the first time I ever saw that what? hoe. No, that's the girl that that's the girl that tri- tricked everybody. Oh, because she wasn't actually a uh, Trump yeah, supporter? Because she raised all that money, like, uh, around he was campaigning. She she mm, she put the hat on, that. and she raised a bunch of money because she I said that her that. parents kicked her out for being a Trump supporter. Yeah, exactly. And, then so after and a bunch she, of white people gave oh, her money? She raised a whole lot of money on yeah. GoFundMe, and, and then, then she afterwards, was like, ah. she was like, fuck y'all. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's funny uh-huh. as fuck. This was, like, a few years ago. No, obviously, yeah. yeah. It had to be. But, okay, so he's back, and yeah. he said he's going to go. No one gives he's a fuck. Um, what it, what is the app that he is able to be on because he's blocked on everything else? No, they let him back on Twitter. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. See, I don't be keeping him with nothing. Elon Sorry. Dusty ass. That's what he just said. Yeah. Oh, I see, did. I didn't listen I to him. I, I, I was know. still having this conversation with Misha. I know. Yeah, so. but uh, yeah, Sally, so he's Sally. back and he's finna be letting off them missiles. I mean, he already, them, them tweets. Uh, <laughs> 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 I had a joke I was going to say, but I didn't know how I was going to come out, so I'll just keep it to myself. He face. said Bush number two. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, the other president, <laughs> yeah. too. Um, oh, yeah, Obama? What was I about to say? <laughs> Golly. I'm a second say, plane. I'm no, rattled. He oh already started off with a... <laughs> a second plane has hit the Misha Tower. Sorry. <laughs> he already started off with a hot take saying everyone that deals drugs needs to be uh, sentenced to death. What? Death sentence, yeah. Trump? Yeah. Damn. So, oh boy, oh boy, here we so go again. Big Pharma, he coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. Damn, if your plug dies, you go to the funeral. Yeah. Oh yeah, God, I'm smoking one for him. I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Snickle sure. prints only though. Wait, <laughs> I was like, we popping perks the whole of the. <laughs> Not the pineapple. I feel like first. I probably wouldn't go. I don't really know my plug like that. I feel like I wouldn't even know that he passed away. Damn, you're a piece of shit. Like he just stopped replying to you, and you're just like, what Dang, the fuck? I got going ghosted. On? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we're not friends, so. And a third comeback in a row, SZA. SZA. S O S. Yep. I'm so not ready. alt, not delete. Like all the fans Control want it. Yeah, alt delete. Yeah. They want it alt or delete. Yeah. Like a series. Yeah. Fuck the fans. Yeah. Stick to the art. <laughs> like Top Dog says every month. Fuck the fans. <laughs> Fuck the fans. Oh, God. Every month they say that. Yeah, I'm really excited but yeah, for she SOS. She says she's on drop in December. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna uh put my phone in a drawer and lock it. She admits she's currently stressed and, and about meeting about it. Uh, she met with Billboard talking about it. And so now she's taking near control of the album's rollout, checking the necessary boxes on the terms. Now it's crunch time. She must grapple with the industry's red tape that she despises so much. Oh, poor SZA. Yeah. 
Oh, poor children. No. There ain't an album coming out. Damn. That's how I feel. I think Damn. so, Jordan. Damn, yeah. bro. I think hey. you're so right. I feel like you're probably right. You saying like at all or like in December? At all. Fuck. Yeah, I'm coming out. Damn. All these singles for nothing, though, Doug? Yeah. All these I videos know. for nothing? Yep. The videos are not for nothing. <laughs> okay. For if an album doesn't come all, out, then it is for nothing. I'm sorry. No, we get to see her well, with our eyeballs. I mean, that's what Instagram's for. I mean, yeah. all she needs is a single, and then she gets to go to ACL. And fucking make That's some money. True. That's all she needs. That's true. And and it's not even because she's that good of an artist, but it's just like people fuck with her. Like she could go on tour right now, and I would still go see her. It, with Control being her only album and all the singles she put out, bro, that us. Like I feel that, and it's it's just because. Yeah. But uh-huh. don't they say that she's a bad performer? No, I saw her. We saw her live. You I was with you. Oh, okay. She was Control was good. The Control show was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's gonna be like I miss Control. She's gonna be like Lauren because Hill. I was in a controlling relationship. Oh my god, bitch! What the fuck? <laughs> mm. She's gonna, like, she gonna be like Lauren Hill. Yeah. She gonna be what? thirty minutes late, Who an hour it? late. Someone said something 30. about Lauren Hill. They wish it was because they, they were doing like hot takes on Twitter, and was it about Lauren Hill? Someone was like, she made that one song, and then y'all let her get away with the murder for years. <laughs> Do what? I guess I don't know which one it was. I don't, I don't like that with Lauren Hill. I don't. I, mean, I don't. I mean, she's I don't like praise her. It might not like have been her. I'd be quoting shit. So. Don't be knowing everything. She'd be annoying me, dog. Lauren, Lauren Hill. Hill. One yes, album. bro. Yeah. She one probably album. got. Okay. Do you think it's because one she album. got mental health issues, or she's just a fucking narcissist? Who? Both. Sissa? So. No, Lauren Hill. I feel no, like Lauren narcissists had, have had mental health issues. With like the The mental health issue is the narcissism. Oh my god. No, she had issues with like. Oh, with her record label. Okay. Obviously, this is just yet again another <laughs> example of how I don't oh, be knowing shit. It's me either. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what you so dramatic for? <laughs> I told y'all I'm cozy as hell right now. I got my feet kicked up. It's cold outside. In my mind, I'm sitting in front of a fire with my closest friends. <laughs> well, it's that time of year where we act like we don't care about white validation, but we argue about the results of it all the time. Uh, the Grammy, the Grammy, Grammy, Grammy after Grammy after Grammy. <laughs> they dropped this week. Twenty-one Grammys. And as always, family. we're disappointed. I was disappointed with the R&B Grammys. They never. We'll talk about I that. We'll like talk about. We'll never cross get that. it. Well, we'll cross that bar, okay, we'll fine. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Best rap album. God did. God did. I never liked you by future. Good. My Jack boat. Carlo, come home. The kids miss you. No. Ass. God. How did that get a nomination? Ass. Why? Ass. Why? Ass. And you know, I'm not as hardcore against Jack Carlo as you either. guys are. But the last album was actually good. No, this I'm a fan. I'm like, a fan of Jack. Not, but he does no. not deserve Who do you to be think on you this are list. Taking my job. Your job? Yeah. You're still in my job. You're okay. still in my job. I'm, I'm still in my job. Harlow. I'm the Jack Harlow hater. Okay, hey, I'm not a hater. That's what I, I just don't that's like this what album. I, that's this what I said. Not Grammy I was like, I I like Jack, but uh, he does not deserve to be on this list. And not with this. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, Kendrick yep. Lamar, and, and it's almost dry by Pusha T. Pusha T. Yep, those are good albums, except for Jack. Um, what do y'all think's gonna win? What do y'all would y'all like? To Jack's win? gonna win, but I would have liked Future or Kendrick to win. If Jack wins, we're gonna riot. Uh, no, Jack. Uh, yeah, dead ass. He gonna have no. to get the hell back. Nah. Someone's gonna go up there and be like, I'm sorry, but (laughs) who's gonna win then? Push T's gonna win. Um, That's your guess or that's who you want to win? I think Push T's gonna win. Okay, Uh, who who do you you want to win? win? I think I'm gonna roll with Future on this one. I think Future. I was gonna say Future. Future I want Uh, Future to win. But I think we we do need to talk about this. The fact that DJ Khaled got this many. Grammy yeah. nominations. And it was He's always album, coming though. out with albums. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he doesn't get this many nominations. He's got a lot of nominations. I love that. I love that. So, too. I think that's pretty dope. But it was a good album, though. I really like it. It is a good album. I think. It's mostly the, the title. Therefore, I am. I think they'll give it to Kendrick because ever since he lost that first one to Macklemore, they're like, oh my God, you got to win every Grammy now. That's the worst He's about to lose a jack. And then what? Of, Just kidding. History of upsets. But I want Future to win. I think Future deserves to win. I think what helps Future win is Tim's. Bold yes. move, Cotton. yeah, because that shit was fucking platinum, oh, let's see how double platinum. <laughs> no, I think Future might might get this one. Hopefully, okay. Yeah. So let's pray to the gods that Future gets <laughs> best rap life. performance. This was a pretty interesting category. Uh, God did God the song, did the song uh, Vegas by Doja Cat. I don't know oh. that song. What's that? Oh. Oh. Vegas. Yes, Vegas. Yeah, that who's was, on that with her? That one's a no, hit. It's just her. I've been telling y'all to listen. Yeah, to that you one. did. You told me it was on the movie, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He literally told us. Bro, that one's that one. one's a hit. Bro. Vegas. Oh, from this, Elvis. Yeah. Yes. This is the Elvis uh, uh, song. Uh, it's not the um, play. I did it. Yeah, right. It is that one. Yeah, that one. Oh. 
You know the song? No? She's like, is it? Don't oh, play it. I get it. Oh, yes. Oh, oh that oh. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the song? Understand, understand. Guys, you ain't the man, you ain't the man. I don't know what's been wrong with me lately. I'm so terrible with song titles right now. I thought it, I thought it was a different so song title. Yeah. Yeah. That one doesn't go though. with the actual. Like, no, I thought it was going to be called Dog like, or something. They play it, I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah, of course I know the song. I played it 20 times on the way up here. Push and P. Push and P. Push and P. Oh, yeah. Gonna feature in Future. That might get it. Thug. The hard part five, Kendrick Lamar. I didn't like the song. I liked the video. Well, yeah, I video talked about stuff. it. It was kind of like Made in America with Childish Gambino. Yeah. yeah. I really didn't like the song. I think that the one video got was dope. Yeah. It did. Yeah. And most importantly, I'm F R E E. Fuck. I ain't got a word. I shut up. Fuck. Shut up. Shut up. I N G L E again. At the end. At the end. With my wretched best friends. Let's go. Go, go, go. Let's go. I no, love that no, for her, dog. Glorilla nominated for best rap performance. I need amazing, bro. I need her to get that. I need her to win so bad. She's going to go up there with her whole crew. And they're just going to be throwing ass on the stage. Grammys is going to get real lit. I feel like that's why the Grammy like wouldn't let her win. Because they're gonna be like, oh, she's matching. You know yeah, because I mean? they're, they're white. They like, can always cut it from the actual. Yeah, I guess. Like footage. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna say that I don't think that. Although I would love for her to win, I don't think Glorilla is gonna win because the they be they be shysty whenever they be trying to give away Grammys, and they're gonna be like, oh, she needs to be further in the game before we just give her a fucking Grammy. I feel like that's why they're not. Gonna I don't give think it she's to gonna win it, but I think it is a big deal for that to be nominated because it was yeah. a good song. So yeah. I think, yeah, I think Grammy nominated. The yeah. nomination that's is recognizing cool. how big of a hit that was. Yeah, and I think it does it deserves the nomination. I don't think it's don't it's, think it's better than. I think Jay Z is gonna get it, and God did. Yeah. Um, a record Jesus. of the year was full of a bunch of songs I've never heard before. Go, Don't Shut Me Down by Abba, Easy on Me, Adele. Easy on Me was bro. Hard. We sang this one yesterday. Listen, keep going because I'm gonna tell you. Break My Soul, Beyonce. Break uh, my soul. Good Morning, one. Gorgeous by Mary J. Blige. Okay, you and Me on the Rock by Brandy Carlisle and Lucius. AK, that's the song that's gonna win because the song yeah, because heard of. It yeah, wins. the one that's fully not heard of. You don't <laughs> yeah. know the artist. You don't yeah, know the artist either. Uh, woman, Doja Cat. Oh, shout out to Doja. My favorite. What song is that? Woman, I could be your woman. woman. Okay. Woman, woman, woman. woman. Yeah. Okay, the song I'm rooting for: Bad Habit, Steve Lacey. The Hard Part okay, Five, okay. About Damn Time, Lizzo, and As It Was, Harry Styles. Harry Styles Damn. didn't win a single thing. He's overrated. Trash. What? Big That's trash. a good song. I did hear a lot of people like As It Was. I mean, I I feel like As It Was like that song because that shit plays everywhere. Have y'all seen that music as video? As It Was. It's fucking stupid. He this music a, video? He, as It Was. He oh. puts a feather bow on and they act like he's a fashion icon. Yeah, Bro, and like, people were... Like, like, oh my oh, God, I watched this TikTok too, of this girl having a bow on and then I guess like it fell or something and this other girl picked it up and they ran into her in the restroom and they was going to fight over this fucking boa that cost a dollar, bro. I've done that shit before. But I didn't, not the, not the boa, but I've dropped something and saw, saw somebody with it and I was like, bro, that's mine. But if, like, if I paid real money for it, yeah. But if it was yeah. a dollar boa, bitch, I ain't tripping on it, hoe. Yeah. Really, come on. I now. was just going to say that Easy On Me, we were singing at karaoke and we played it and we were going to change it, but then it started and everybody ate that hoe up. We did the whole song together, all of I us. I haven't well. heard any of the Adele songs. I feel like Adele's album flopped. You know that No, one. no it did not it flop, did not. bro. Because yeah. compared to the last albums, can I finish my yeah, that's why my hand Compared is to the last albums, you couldn't go anywhere without hearing all them old singles. And I felt like this new album was a little different and it didn't last as long you as You can that go and then album. I want to go next. Okay. Like that album that point. came out like in, like, what was it, like 2012? 19. 19. 19, that one? I feel like you couldn't go anywhere without hearing uh, I, something from that album. I mean, you're not I wrong, but can I mean, I it was a good album. Bro. Um, So I, I feel like Adele is kind of like what Jordan was saying with Nas. She okay. she sticks with her fans. She don't yeah. try to make anything for anybody else but her fans. But she did not stream 30 it's not on any. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's it why. is only well, physical. Go. Go yeah, answer. the only song from Thirty that is on Apple Music is the. Um, oh wait, just kidding. I'm looking at it right now. I was like, it's streaming. It is on yes. here, but she didn't drop it on there first, right? Or did she? I don't know. I, I listen, don't know. You know. I listen on Spotify. She does. For she's do. She did like a whole. I mean, I guess it's because I'm an Adele fan and it's her music. But she she performed the whole album, or not the whole album, but she did concert at the Griffith Observatory, and mm -hmm. it was like just celebrities there. And she had this couple get engaged there. How does the song go? You said I've heard it. Go easy on, on me, baby. baby. I was just a child. Here. But I can't bring myself to swim when I 
Yeah. All right, pause. Pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you know that one? Oh, yeah, it goes no. hard. No. It goes well, hard. But, um, it's a good ass album. Bro, it's sad. I feel like it, Adele. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I was like, I was next. Okay, okay go ahead. Next. Go ahead. Real quick, real quick, because I'm just going to say it and I'm, I'm going to leave it go. I feel like Adele is like a celebrity is a celebrity. Like the celebrities yeah. love yes. Adele. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, I agree with Jordan. I agree with Misha. What I was going to say, well, is I feel like this album, like, although, yes, she tries to cater to fans, like her fans specifically, this album was for her, bitch. Oh, she 100%. was going through 100%. it. Like, it, I don't even think it mattered if anybody listened to this bitch or anybody cared about it because, like, her words were specific to the fucking things yeah. that she was going through. And a lot of times people put out music and it's supposed to be like, oh, where you can, everybody can kind of relate. No, this shit was her song and it was her story, her story and that yeah. was it. I she like how it. you put that, bro. She's a celebrity. She celebrity. is. Celebrity. Yeah. She is, yeah. But She's definitely one that celebrities are, like, excited yeah, to see. So yeah. Like, oh, my gosh, I miss it's I fucking Adele. Adele. Yeah. So Beyonce's kind of yeah. like, too. Yeah. But I, I think it's, um... That's kind of always like each one of her albums, like what from nineteen yeah. to twenty one, like it's it's like that's the type of type of music she where makes. Where she's yeah. at, she's like, very this, raw. I'm talking, yeah. This is this is I'm putting my heart yeah. onto this paper, and I'm gonna sing it, and I'm gonna let you know. It's like you you kind of follow and grow with her. Yeah, and yeah. I don't feel like she feels like she needs to prove anything to anybody. It's I agree. Like, hey, if you if you like, but it, she's you already like talented. But, yeah, yeah. She's like she did Man. a uh, she did an interview with Oprah for this album rollout, and uh-huh. then she she was on live one day, and they were like. She was about to drop, and they're like, "What's the album about? What's the album about?" And she was like, "Divorce, babe." <laughs> divorce, well, it's babe. divorce, and I can't remember which song it is, but she has a song where she's talking to her son. <laughs> oh my god, about, it's so sad. And like trying yes. to, help I can't him listen under, to it. Trying to understand what's going on with her. Yeah, and, yeah. Man, like, it's sad. It's, it's sad. It's crazy. It's good. Um, Adela's. did y'all see Halle yeah. Bailey supporting her sister? Oh my god, no, I didn't. No, I didn't see it. Go. Okay, what did she Wait. say? Okay, go. Never mind. <laughs> Congratulations to all the nominations this year. My angel, Chloe Bailey, should have been nominated too. But that's okay because she'll sweep next year. Aww. <laughs> Hallie has such a good heart. Um, maybe it was... Um, she does have an album coming out, doesn't she? <laughs> maybe it was the one that she was like licking the mic at the performance. Ain't no damn telling. I have no uh, idea what any of her songs are. The one are. about ass. <laughs> What is the name that, of that Every song? song's about ass or video or Instagram post. Work it poppy like I do. Work it poppy like, I, like I do. One. I think it might have been that one that, the, that she's talking about. Mm-hmm. Y'all think Chloe Bailey should have been nominated mm-hmm. for a Grammy? Not for that song. Are we going to talk mean, about Chloe Bailey right now? Because a lot of people get a lot of people get nominated for not a lot of stuff. But let's save this because we got to give Hallie some some props if she does sweep next year. So yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Chloe, but, Chloe, not Hallie. Well, Hallie said that Chloe's gonna sweep. Yeah. Uh, oh, I thought you so said Hallie. So we gotta give Hallie the props. Sorry. No, she's... I'm getting Hallie the, oh, the yeah, props yeah, for yeah. calling. I'm not giving Chloe yeah. no props. So Steph started talking about R and B, right? Mm-hmm. No, that was Misha. Yeah, it was me. Okay, that was Misha. My bad. Justice from LVRN, the manager for Summer Walker, Black, uh, some other artists, R and B artists specifically. Yeah, Sick Black. Like said no summer no kaylani no ari no sisa feels like it's something against a young black woman that doesn't work with their award show that fucking let's part. talk about it like we have some really good i fuck with our female r&b is pretty Me much too. all i listen to and i'm like yo like there's so many especially summer like give my bitch her fucking flowers my bitch is r&b low-key like what what does the list say i'm about to look it up Keep yes going. please because and i was i was upset because i feel like ari lennox is also like in her r&b bag real good like this album that she just dropped we yeah. talked about it a yes. sex location is very it brings you back to 90s and that was her theme um it brings you back to like the 90s r&b and like she had that song mm. where they were like talking back and forth and that shit is just sad it, it happens every year um that the r&b i feel like females get snubbed but they always do yeah and it's it's I don't know. I'm not even gonna go really deep into it. So who, um, who got who got the um I'm just the trying to look up right Because this now. is my thing as a as a black person. I, I don't I like when it. we we whistleblow for some of these things, and, and I don't even know if that's the right term. No, for I, it. I, I, I don't I'm like when you. that happens when it's not necessarily the case. Because then people do not take it serious, and we really have to test on this. Yeah, show. I feel that. Yeah, you know if there's saying? some good white people on there, but who who's white right now that you know that's uh, I'm not here saying, on some. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm asking what who the nominations were. No, I know because he's still looking. That's because, what I'm asking. Because what if it's all older black women? And like, oh, y'all got a thing against young black women? It's like, why? Oh, maybe that that's a, what she was trying to say. Yeah. Why I feel is you. that a thing that we got to say? Yeah. Maybe it's you just know? like, oh, you could have been like, um, some of the new girlies was out here. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah exactly. Best R&B performance is Virgo's Groove by Beyonce here with me. 
her, her, hers and hours and hours by uh, Money Long oh. over by Lucky Day. Lucky Day got a lot of nominations. Shout out to him. Uh, Heard Me So Good, Jasmine Sullivan, Traditional R&B Performance, Do For Love, Snow Allegra. Hope she wins that. Oh, Keep yeah. On Falling, Babyface, and Nella May, Plastic Off the Sofa, Beyonce, Round Midnight, Adam Blackstone, and Jasmine Sullivan. We got a lot of black people out here and that we're, we're good complaining morning, about yeah. those Mary specific Jones. four women. That weren't. Yeah, that's what that's nominated. even like. Best okay. R&B that's song. What did the uh, best R&B song? Like? G- Cuff it by Beyonce. She shouldn't be in r and this year. That this album, project. yeah, that album was not R&B at all. Good mm-hmm. morning, gorgeous again. Mary J. Blige, Hour and Hours, same one again with Abba. Mm-hmm. Uh, Heard me so good, same one again. And please don't walk away, PJ Morton. Okay, so I don't like. I that. just really quickly want to say that um, I'm a hater. I am an LMA hater. I don't think that she's fucking that talented, bro. And I like, I don't just feel, I don't think that she should be Grammy nominated, period. Whatever. So whoever was featured on that probably carried it. Um, PJ Morton is always a really good um, R&B artist. So I'm not going to say shit about him. Yeah. Um, I do agree though that Beyonce's album, even though I did not fully listen to Renaissance, I don't remember anything on that album being R&B whatsoever. Yeah. Um, and then you had said somebody else, that hours and hours was a really popular like song so i feel like that's understanding that's understandable that it was grammy nom- nominated but uh mary j blush sweet this because she's also nominated for best r&b album man we must have to listen Breezy, to that song uh black audio three robert glasper lucky day candy drip which was a good album i like yeah. that a lot watch the sun pj morton what are all these yeah that's best the album, album. See, that's what that's yeah. what I was I mean, kind of like. I'm not mad about Lucky Day though. LMA had a couple good songs. I think it's. I think it's. It needs to be. I don't like when we say it's for. It's for the 22 year. Oh, that year. person's not talented. Yeah. They shouldn't get 2023. Yeah. It's like, or if you had a big song, or you had a big performance. I don't even know that song. I don't either, so I can't say nothing. But like LMA has had good performances before. Okay, let's see. That are they classifying? <laughs> Did they classify? Well, that doesn't matter because I was. Uh, Wasteland came out. Age Sex Location came out. Yeah, yeah. Broken Brent Heart should have been nominated for something. I'm sad sure. because Broken Hearts Club with, is Sid's second solo album, and it's so fucking good. She's really talented. It's I like so the first fucking one. good. Um, so she like she didn't like it. Jim and I writes that's Steve Lacey's album, but he got a Grammy for Bad Habits. Good for him. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, good song on the album. Hot take. Give you on, give or take. Obviously, he's not that big, but like, I don't know if you remember. Did you get to watch Destin at uh, Kaylani's uh, concert? Mm-hmm. Y'all weren't in there. He's just like, I can't wait for him to fucking blow up because he Destin? has such good lyrics. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Uh, I was just looking at what other albums, what other R and B albums came out. I will agree though that Ari. Sorry for what was really good. Um, Summer is always in her fucking bag when yeah. she's putting out shit. Mm-hmm. Like, regardless, she's always gonna be great. SZA, I don't know. Would we like shirt? I feel like they. She should have been nominated for one of them. Songs. But they don't understand that shirt was supposed to be R and B, and it still sounds poppy to them. That's the problem. Best I feel R&B like song, that's one of their biggest least. issues. Yeah, yeah. Kalani, I don't know if anything off this album could have been anything. Like, I'm not, I'm not uh, and I'm advocating for her. Yeah, I love Kehlani, but I'm not going to advocate for any really of that good. shit. If, you could maybe say everything, but that was a fan song for sure. And these are the artists he album. works with. You know, he works with Summer and yeah. the likes of her. Yeah, so, I, I mean, this like... is a very, you know. Read the tweet again. Uh, no Summer, no Kehlani, no Ari, no SZA. Feels like something against a young black woman that this show doesn't work with their work. So specific, he's not saying like black women in general. Yeah. He's saying young, young black, black women. women. Yeah. Because Mary J. Blige is sweeping. Young L- black LMA women. is the same so age, like, and Beyonce is not that much older than it, most of these people. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, she yes. kind of is. She's like past 40. She's 30. You're right. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. You're older. right. But my thing is just like, once you start doing it, people are going to be like, okay, Grammys are against young black women, and now we got a whole thing oh, yeah, against, yeah, yeah, yeah. against the Grammys. That's and it's true. like, That's okay. That's why he did it. Like, yeah. It was a shock factor. I just don't like it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, okay, now when we actually need to call attention to something that's a problem. No one's listening. We can't do it. No one's listening to mm-hmm. us because we, we tapped the button too many times. We cried wolf too many times. Yeah. Quit crying wolf. It's like, all right, you didn't get it this time. Go back to work. You might get it next time. Like, yeah. And again, hold on real quick. Yeah. We're the same ones that say we don't care about the Grammys. Yeah. That's why I started this. I swear. We sub, say yeah. that all the time. We don't care about Grammys. <laughs> we don't, right, we don't, need, the we don't need the Grammy Awards. That don't, that don't matter. Maybe like still, fuck a Grammy, baby. But we better still be than tuned in. Exactly, and be the main ones to get mad. We don't get Grammy nominated. That's yeah. why I said this is the time of year where we act like we don't care about white validation, but we're gonna argue about the damn Grammys every time. Yep. I was just gonna say that I recently watched a clip of an interview that. Um, wow, am I blanking on her name, Lauren? Hill. Uh. Uh-uh. Bitch. London. 
London. Sorry, why did yeah. I say Lauren? Because okay. we're talking about Lauren here. Yeah. New, new. New, new. Yeah. It's new, new. London was, um, she was on an interview basically just talking about how, like, if you're an artist and you make art, like, that should be your win. Like, yeah. you, should, you should make art for what you want to make art for. And even if it only reaches a handful of people, like, from did, someone who's part. not an artist, I feel like we can't listen to what she's saying on that. And if you care about I, Grammys, I liked you care it. about I Grammys. What she said was I very think it's thoughtful. nice, but. I don't think we should hate on artists that want to be appreciated for their work. Right. But now it's become taboo where it's like, why do you even care about that stuff? Yeah. You're doing yeah. so many great things. It's like, I want to Because it's like lame who to was, care. Who, who uh, was it? It was one dude artist that really wanted to win a Grammy and he said he wanted to win it. Was it? Weekend? Because Weekend and Drake have officially boycotted the, the Grammys. Was it Vince? I don't remember. Vince it Vince might have been, um, Tyler Creator? I don't know. Chance or something. If it, was, it was someone Some, weird. It was someone like in that I think time. it might have been Chance or something. Yeah. It was like somebody was like, well, I'm not going to shoot and code it. I want to win a Grammy. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, I They had retweeted uh, Drake's Grammy speech, and it was so cute. It, I don't know what year it was, but he was yes. just like, it was. It, you have it? You can send it to me. Uh-huh. On Twitter, real quick, if you would like. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That, For all time, it was sake. a really, it was a really cute speech, and he was just like, he said something about how like you like even if you didn't get a Grammy, like you have fans who are like standing in line for yeah. hours, standing in cold weather, standing yeah, in rain that. to come see you and yeah. seeing all your lyrics. Like that's fucking cool. Yeah. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Do you hear that? It's coming from the house. It's coming from inside the house. Uh, do you mean? Could it be? The Bolter House. New from Rogue Media, two haunted hotties talking about haunted places. Every episode, we dive deep into the darkest places and give you a bit of history. We're getting spooky in all the right places. You've gobbled your last ghoul. Follow along for the craziest and spookiest stories with Debbie's Dark Tourism. The Stanley Hotel, Winchester House, The Alamo, Hotel Monte Vista, and more spooky places. Find us at the underscore Poltergals. P-O-L-T-E-R-G-A-L-S. Look over your shoulder. It's us, the Poltergals. Wherever you consume the podcast, you can find us there. All you can fly annual pass for domestic travel at the price of five ninety nine. Right up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Say damn. Five ninety nine per person, and I feel like that's like not bad at all. It I mean, really I, I don't. They don't have a lot of um, routes, though. I don't think so. I feel like that's like why they don't. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but that's nice. I like that. That's cool as fuck. If you are someone who just wants to experience something, I mean, what's six hundred dollars? Go fucking Uber. Go sell your body. Like I don't oh, know. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Take it back. No, like I mean, honestly, go find six hundred dollars. Go get that shit and go oh, no do some fans. shit. <laughs> not for real. Yeah, go sell your toes. I'm Listen, not saying nothing crazy. I've said this before on Twitter. If you're in your early twenties, go ahead and fly Spirit and Frontier. What you got to lose? No, go. yeah, we really do. Go see the world. But once you hit that, like late 20s like once you your body starts hurting yeah you definitely need to be in an american or uh fucking i guess delta i don't fucking know i fly delta but, yeah uh, okay so the texas judge grants megan the stallion a temporary restraining order against 1501 certified entertainment and 300 entertainment and damn. so i'm not, not fully understanding all of this but uh basically these are the ones that fucked her right mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm. interesting well i love it Wait, if she likes it, I love it. Sorry. <laughs> um, so Odell Beckham Jr. sues Nike for more than twenty million dollars. Ooh, because they screwed him out of millions. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says being a Nike athlete and brand icon was a dream that I've been uh, I've had since a young boy. I wanted to be the next Michael Jordan, Bo Jackson, LeBron James, or Kobe Bryant in the Nike family. I've kept my promise and fulfilled my obligations to the brand. I'm extremely disappointed that I've had to take measures uh, to ensure Nike fulfills their obligations and promises. Damn, I feel that though. Promises, yeah. promises. And get promise. Speaking of Nike. Yeah. Nike is making custom H Town shoes. They're yeah. pretty dope. They're doing some H Town edition ones. They're like red and white and stuff like Cute. that. It's pretty dope. Dope little concept. Shout out to Houston. RIP um, take. RIP take. Yeah. November 13th is officially Lil Baby Day in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, Shout out to him. So Lil Baby. It's so cute. They got him a little plaque and everything. I like him, dog. I love it. I like him enough. He seemed like he'd be chilling. Oh my God. Dominique Jones. He's so cute. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, new Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield have partnered up to create and deliver Holy Ears, edibles in the shape of an ear. I'm so dead. <laughs> if I was on cannabis, I wouldn't uh, have bit his ear, Tyson said, referring to the 1997 fight when the boxer bit Holyfield's ear. I'm so fucking People dead. are better than me because, like, shout out to y'all for going back and getting money with your ops. I'm dead. <laughs> I think that's a, like hilarious though, because what the fuck? Oh my god! This was at uh, retail giant Walmart on Tuesday. Uh, become the latest major. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> They just the gra- grammar on here is terrible. Oh. Uh, the latest major player in the drug industry to announce a plan to settle lawsuits filed by state and local governments over the total of powerful prescription opioids sold at its pharmacies with state and local governments across the U.S. The 3.1 billion proposal follows similar announcements November 2nd from uh, from the two largest U.S. pharmacy chains, CVS Health and Walgreens uh, Co., which each said they would pay about five billion. So basically. People are suing these pharmacies because they had like a bunch of like powerful prescription opioids that they were selling. But I feel like, damn, that's fucked up. Like they're just there to be the middleman, Mm -hmm. in my opinion. But I'm at the same time, it's not fucked up because morally, why the fuck would you be selling these fucking opioids, bro? The middleman's still gonna get in trouble. Yeah, first place. And I'm pretty sure they made way more than three billion dollars off oh, of selling off of bitch, that. Bad. So because it's like, all right, three billion. I was gonna say, as soon as you get addicted right. to opioids, like if your regular doctor's not getting it, you are going somewhere else to get that shit. Yeah. Like, ain't no way. Like, or you know, like I got in an accident and I got the opioids, whatever. And Misha's like, hey, let me get some of them hoes. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, allegedly, I don't know. we don't <laughs> share <laughs> prescriptions, right? No, I don't know. No. Come on now. Um, Elon Musk said in court that he expects to reduce his name, uh, his time at Twitter and eventually find a new leader to run the social media company. Tesla investors have been increasingly concerned about the time that Musk is devoting to turning around Twitter. So basically, I don't know who gives a fuck. I would love for you to not be in charge of this shit, but... He's already quitting his job. Because he's bad he at even it. Started it. Yeah, <laughs> he's terrible. Yeah. I know. How many quick tests do we have left? Uh, probably like three to four, three, two. Two, two, two. Okay, go. Because we, we got to wrap, but I wanted to talk about Twitter very briefly. Okay. So two more. Uh, Netflix launches a new feature to kick your ex off of your account. So um, they had a new feature that many users would find pretty handy, allowing them to boot unwanted people off their account. Now, however, Netflix has launched a new feature where you can check all the devices on your account currently logged into and sign yourself back out again, kicking out anyone you don't want watching. So I feel like um, that basically was something that you should have already had because yeah. doesn't every other app have Yeah, that I know Hulu has that shit. Yeah. Which I think is really funny because, like, I'm pretty sure my ex was on my shit up oh, yeah. until, like, maybe. I was on my four ex's shit for the longest. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, the World Cup starts. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. And Qatar bans beer sales in and around all World Cup stadiums, like, Damn. three days before. And freaking Budweiser is spending hella ad dollars to be there. Damn. And they cancel that whole. They cancel that contract. That's I'm like, crazy. That's fucking wild. So, I mean no shout out to Qatar shout out to Qatar I don't know I mean like you think about it like it's probably better motherfuckers be getting drunk and be fighting shit in the stands why the hell yeah starting the World Cup around Thanksgiving Losers. isn't that when it always starts I don't know, you tell I don't know. I don't so what happened on Twitter you tell me oh I was gonna <laughs> I was going to talk about the Twitter shutting down or whatever, um, but just briefly, basically. Uh, Everything's a rollout. Yeah. Elon uh, sent this um, memo out, and he was basically telling everybody that they were going to have the, – the changing – their their work habits were going to change. They are going to be higher. Um, this was after he already did, like, like let go of a bunch of people. They were doing, like, basically letting huge parts of the company go. Yes. And then after he sent the email, people started to resign because they were basically going to have to work these crazy hours. And then after people started resigning, he changed his mind. He sent another email out, and he was just, like, trying to get people to stay. But basically there was no incentive for them to stay, and the people who were having to stay were having to make up for the work of everybody who quit and or got mm-hmm. fired. And then over the weekend, whenever we thought Twitter was going to die within those next couple of days, basically uh, they were pe- tw- Twitter employees were on Twitter saying that like they were getting emails that their badges weren't going to work on Monday. All the offices were closed while we were on Twitter finding all this information out. So I really don't know um, if it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen, but we also saw the end of multiple, mm-hmm. sorry, multiple social me- no social networks. So mm. who knows? 
I mean, honestly, I think it was crazy because people were saying that they were coming in to like work and their fucking Twitter key office cards doors. Weren't well, no, not even just the key cards weren't working. Yeah. Like the doors were locked. Yeah. yeah, that building was closed, bro. And I'm just like, what kind of pieces of shit are you? I mean, I just feel like that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Yeah, for sure. I can't wait. Okay, guys, we love y'all so much. Have a happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Shout out to Rogue Media. Shout out to our cool guy. He produces for His us. Name is Mason. Mace. Murder Mace in the building. Murder Mace. Yeah. I'll add y'all. Y'all be safe. Y'all Follow be doing what we'll Instagram. see you for Christmas. Follow us on Twitter. Peace out. That's a wrap on another episode of Imperfect Voices Podcast. Tell a friend, like, and subscribe to the content. Add us on IG at Imperfect Voices Pod or Twitter, The IV Podcast, for more toxic takes. See y'all next time. has been a Rogue Media Podcast.